Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Contemporary Cardboard. I'm Nick, and today we're going to take a look at the new Quacks of Quedlinburg, The Alchemists expansion by Wolfgang Wurst and Schmidt Games, uh, published by CMYK Games uh, here in the U.S., and I think elsewhere as well. Um, I won't get into all that jazz, but let's dig in and take a look, see what comes inside. So let me just kind of... Uh, do that here, still on my cell phone in the undisclosed location, so please bear with me on the uh, framing here. Take a quick look at the back. It shows what comes inside. We've got new player boards that go on top of the board. I believe uh, these are another a track you can increase instead of your um, water droplet, but don't quote me. I do know that these are uh, ailments that uh, different town folk have, and if you cure them, you get a bonus. We have uh, more loco root. Uh, if you're familiar with the um, herb witches expansion, that's where this ingredient was introduced. It's a special ingredient that does special things and stuff. And we get more uh, fortune teller cards as well. So let's dig in and take a look instead of just looking at the box. So I don't think you guys are here to see the back of the box. I want to see what's inside the box, right? Oof, almost hit my uh, phone there. There we go. Plastic is gone. Alrighty. All right, not a whole lot of stuff here on the inside. We start off with these bubble tokens. So I guess the, the is a separate track altogether. Um, well, obviously, but uh, looks like uh, it's not just increase your water droplet because that's a different um, different icon there. Essence markers is what is what the book says right there. Essence yeah, markers. Uh, the overview of what it is, I'm not gonna read that, but again, from my understanding, it's pretty, pretty close. Um, the, other, the, uh, the back of the box didn't mention these es Essence cards. So these cards go on top of the board and uh, give you special unique bonuses. And help randomize. So we got game set up here. And then just gonna break down of what all the cards do. Let you explore that on your own, as they say. <laughs> uh, we've got a shrink-wrapped uh, uh, set of cards here. We've got definitely more fortune teller cards, and these look like the essence cards. And crack these open somewhat carefully and quick, but yet quickly and efficiently. Oh, oh, almost got it. Don't want to damage the cards, but also want to open them, to use them. It's always a catch-22, right? Uh, let's see here. And there we go. I may or may not have used my teeth on that, but it was off camera, so you'll never know. Alrighty, so let's take a look at the cards that we got here. So we've got the essence cards that go on the essence boards, and they'll make a little bit more sense um, once we uh, see them there. But I believe like you increase the increase your essence, and the, these um, you get better and better uh, rewards. I think you got looks like ongoing ability for this one, and this one just straight up rewards. You get a lot more rat tails, it looks like, on that one. So there's a bunch of these, and they're double-sided. Yeah, they're double-sided as well, and they're different on each side, of course, so that really increases replayability. So those are the essence cards. About half the cards that we get are those, and the other half are more fortune teller cards. So the, you can see the, per, uh, the purple cards happen immediately during the phase that you, you draw the uh, fortune teller card. In that round. Uh, this one's got a witch here. You may surrender all your witch uh, pennies in exchange for a chip of your choice. So you have, oh, here, yeah, you have to have your, um, the witch's expansions. I assume that's what that means. And it obviously matches a bunch of, so yeah. So that's cool, because you didn't, I don't think you got any, um, I don't remember if you got any of these cards uh, during, or in that expansion. So I'm just kind of letting you guys read these. It's a long one. You can pause and read these at your leisure, leisure, leisure. 
And then the other half of, that, of, of them are uh, these blue cards that happen during the round. So it looks like this is, uh, requires the Alchemist expansion for this one. So yeah, purples happen immediately one time, and then these are ongoing. That requires a witch's expansion. Immediately draw a random herb witch from the ones not currently in play. Each player may use this once in their round for free. Wow. Yeah, these seem very o OP comparatively to the base game. But I'm sure they're, they're all balanced accordingly. Play, uh, requires alchemists. The players whose essence has the highest value after the essence phase may roll the die. So there we go. That's, that's the last card there. So let's see what we got. What's left? Looks like a bunch of cardboard. Oh, we got a couple. Uh, last part came out. Last board got popped out already during shipping, but that's fine. Looks all well and good. We can just show it off right away. So you can see the cutout here. It will sit on top of your um, cauldron board. And then, like I said, your essence card will soon be randomized. And then you pick it here, you can see these tubes attached. So the farther, the more essence you get, the better your ability here. So if you get to three, you get to increase your water droplet. Four, nothing, right? Five, I'm uh, sorry, <laughs> water droplet, I meant rat tails. And then here, further you get, you get more and more uh, v VP. And then 10 just kind of drips off to the side. I'm not sure what's going on there. And then here it looks like you get... Um, because these are just rat tails and points, you get an ongoing ability, which um, this one also has an ongoing ability. But I don't think they all do. Although everyone I am looking at, for, as an example, seems to have ongoing abilities, so never mind. But here's another one. So you could get uh, vampirism. Ooh. Got to do more research on exactly what how to increase the essence and everything, but uh, that's pretty cool. Is it? Is this the same? I think it's the same side because um, you can play either side of your player board and it's an asymmetric design, so. Pretty basic stuff there. <clears throat> so yeah, every player gets one of these. This is the yellow players. I'm not gonna show you the rest of those boards because they are the same. Um, we also get two more recipe books for Loco Root. Again, Loco Root was in introduced um, in the uh, Herb Butches expansion. So if you don't have Herb Butches, um, you still get some uh, ingredients here on the punch board. And you get replacement um, white chips as well, which come in handy if you're still using those. I recommend the uh, Board Game Geek bits. You can see these are different prices. Uh, you only use one of these, by the way, so to help randomize and increase uh, replayability. They're double-sided. Wow, every every time, all, uh, all four pages here are a different price. It's kind of let you uh, read over and see what they do. Um, you can see they don't have a number on them, so they usually uh, um, rely on numbers of previously played ingredients. And then here are the ailments uh, and like, this, so this is like start of the game, you gain a red and a blue and then preparation phase, return each chip of your, any color from your quadrant to your bag except loco weed, reduce the essence by as many spaces as the value indicated on the chip. Forgetfulness. It's kind of, oh, it kind of breaks it down here. It's a little flavor text it looks like. <laughs> oh, here's that vampirism that we looked at earlier end of the essence phase, you may buy an additional chip for the value gained. Oh, boom, there you go. Kind of tied in there. I like that. So I guess the, I would imagine all of these are the same, let me see, which is hump, sorry, uh, chicken eyes. There's chicken eyes. I imagine these go together. Oh, I'm dropping a... <laughs> Try not to punch everything and waste your time there, but because I, I know I can do that. 
So here's the chicken eyes element card. Uh, receive the bonus indicated on your essence. Ah, okay. So these sounds like these do tie together. I would imagine. So he just tells you you're going to gain a bunch of these bunch of different abilities. Nice. Um, let's see. I believe that's everything, because these are just going to be again Loco Woot, and then we've got these chips here that correspond to all the ele elements as well. So like these icons match the the ailment cards. <laughs> Wing ears. I like I like this guy. And then uh, these already got punched out. We already showed those. But let's see if I can just do a quick read up on Essence and how it works. Expansion overview. Alchemists receive visits from patients suffering from all kinds of weird and wonderful conditions. Uh, at the start of the game, we choose a, a patient to treat. Each patient needs a special essence to its remedy. You must make the essence uh, in your alchemist flask and, re and you'll receive this special bonus. Uh, let's see. Alchemist flask. Beware of several layer chicken eyes, which is how this talks about all the individuals. It seems a little faded, this this page. I don't know if that yeah, this def, this middle page is like slightly less um, vibrant than the others. That's unfortunate. But still legible, thankfully. So not a huge deal there. But how do you increase your your essence here? Each player additionally receives Alchemist Flask, Essence Marker. Place the Alchemist Flask above. Uh, the Alchemist Flask is the board itself here. The, this flask, not the uh, the flask that you drink from to, re to uh, avoid busting or overflowing in the base game. Uh, you get the Essence Cards. That's set up. Oh, how to play, that's the one that's a little faded. I count as many different ingredient colors on your condition. So based on the number of colors that you draw, that's how you increase your, your essence. So example, there are two red chips, one orange chip, and one blue chip. There we go. And three different colors. Uh, your cherry bombs with the sum of seven in your cauldron. So you move your marker forward one space. The cauldron of, your, of the player to your left, the cauldron to the player to your left explodes. Whoa, what? Oh, that just has to be what that ability means. This one right here. Interesting. So it's the ba based on the number of colors. So you are kind of not set collecting, but like trying to get like colors. It sounds like that's how you increase your your essence. But I'm going to stop guessing and rambling, and I will let you folks um, decide if you think this is a worthy expansion. And uh, hope you like it. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. And again, sorry for the, uh, the crazy uh, <laughs> angle and all that stuff. Hopefully it all worked out. That's The Alchemists for the Cracks of Quedlinburg. Thanks again for watching.